हेलो आई सोनू अग्रवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ फिजिक्स इन साइंस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बियानी गर्ल्स कॉलेज ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ वेलकम यू ऑल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन डिफ्रैक्शन वॉट इज डिफ्रैक्शन डिफ्रैक्शन इज अ ऑप्टिकल फिनोमिना एंड विच वेन अ रे ऑफ लाइट पासिस थ्रू अ सर्कुलर एपरेचर और अ स्मॉल शार्प कॉर्नर इट गेट डिपार्चर विद इट्स ऑन लीनियर पाथ एज वी कैन सी इन द डायग्राम वेन अ रे ऑफ लाइट विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम अ सोर्स इज पासिस थ्रू अ स्मॉल एपरेचर इट गेट डिपार्चर विद सम एंगल विद इट्स ऑन रेक्टिलीनियर पाथ दिस एंगल इज नॉन एज एंगल ऑफ डिफ्रैक्शन एंड दिस स्पेशल फिनोमिना इज नॉन एज डिफ्रैक्शन एस In other words, we can say that the bending of light due to a small aperture or a sharp corner is known as diffraction. The next thing is type of types of diffraction. There are two types of diffraction. The first one is Fresnel group of diffraction, and the another one is Fraunhofer group of diffraction. In Fresnel group of diffraction, the distance between source to screen will be finite it means inclination is very important for this group of diffraction rather than in fraunhofer diffraction the distance between source to screen will be infinite it means this angular inclination theta is not important for fraunhofer group of diffraction but as we can see that the distance is no matter for fraunhofer diffraction it means this is most useful a uh, group of diffraction let me see the first group of diffraction that is fraunhofer diffraction from a single slit slit is nothing slit is a very small aperture which is linear when ray of light incident on this aperture and passes through it they got diffracted with some angle theta for getting the diffraction pattern we use a convex lens in by this convex lens the pattern which we will get on the screen on the point p is known as diffraction pattern thank you thank you thank you for watching this video for more videos and study material please log on to www.gurukpo.com